If you're planning a trip to the Hermit Kingdom, you might want to watch this video first. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're counting down the top 5 shocking facts about North Korea. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 5. Pyongyang is only for the elite. North Korea has very few cities, so you can imagine how frustrating it must be to be told you aren't allowed to live in one of them. Pyongyang is the country's biggest city, as well as its capital, and it's home to roughly 3 million people. However, these aren't just regular folks, they're North Korea's elite citizenries, and they aren't all in one place by coincidence. You're only allowed to live in Pyongyang if you're a trustworthy and loyal citizen. Oh yeah, and it helps if you're rich and in excellent physical condition. Number 4. Very few roads are paved. So, welcome to the real North Korea. Another grim reality of living in North Korea is the roads, or lack thereof. As it turns out, paving the roads doesn't appear to be a top priority for this country. In fact, less than 3% of the country's road network is paved. In total, North Korea has about 25,000 kilometers of roads, which means that only 750 of those kilometers are lucky enough to be paved, which definitely makes a trip to grandma's house that much harder. Oddly enough, the country doesn't need many paved roads to begin with, as only designated people are allowed to own cars. Number 3. Electricity is controlled They make electricity generators here, they say. There goes the electricity again. Ever since the invention of the light bulb, our world has been permanently illuminated. Electricity flows like water, linking us together through a shared ability to turn on simply by flipping a switch. Now imagine you flip that same switch and nothing happens. In North Korea, this is a common occurrence. The DPKR shuts down electricity at night, with obvious exceptions for top priority personnel and other high ranking officials. Truthfully, electricity can be spotty regardless of the time of day, and some people may only receive a few hours worth from sunrise to sunset. Number 2. The Three Generations Rule I don't condone what they do here. Tell it to the concierge. Can you imagine a world where your entire family can be thrown into a prison camp for a crime you committed? Seems crazy, right? Well, if you're a citizen of North Korea, it's a reality. Known as the Three Generation Rule, People who are convicted of crimes are sentenced to life in prison along with every member of their family. Oh, and the suffering doesn't stop there. If members of that family were to reproduce, the subsequent two generations must remain in prison for their entire lives. Number 1. They have concentration camps You'd be hard pressed to find two words that when combined evoke the same emotional reaction as concentration camp. One would assume that after the horrors of World War II, society would have permanently done away with them. Unfortunately, many countries still employ the technique, and one of them is North Korea. It's estimated that roughly 150,000 to 200,000 people live and work in these concentration camps. Of those who enter, 40% are said to die of malnutrition while being forced to perform backbreaking labor in horrible conditions. Sadly, the three generations rule is one of the primary reasons why North Korea's concentration camps are so overcrowded. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.